guys. So I'm just kind of playing tonight. Um, and I thought I'd turn on the camera because I've got a new product here. And I'm going to be kind of testing it out for myself. Um, so the new product I have is this Clear Design um, scrubber pad. It's a two-sided cleaning system for rubber and clear stamps by Hero Arts. And if you've not seen these before, <clears throat> this one is two-sided. So like this side, ha I've already wet it, put water on this. It comes out. That's just like this foam. Sorry, that white is probably not showing up too well. But anyway, um, it's just this pretty thick foam with like a kind of like a carpet on top almost. And you put some water on it. And then this side is supposed to be dry. Now, <laughs> I, I tried to do this earlier and my camera battery died. So I actually closed this up and now this side's a little bit wet. But essentially, you would scrub your stamps on the wet side and then dry them off on the dry side. Uh, and that's how you keep your stamps clean. So I have just started getting back into stamping and I saw this and I've always struggled with keeping my stamps clean and I thought, hey, I want to get one of those. That's awesome. Um, I saw this from Michelle Baxter. If you're not familiar with her, I'll try to leave some information down below. I think she is Quirky Heart on Instagram if you'd like to follow on Instagram and I think she has a Facebook group as well. Um, she's just very creative and she did a lot of stamping. I just took a class that she did and she showed her stamp pad uh, or cleaning pad and I thought it was really awesome. So I wanted to try one and this one I ordered from Amazon. Sorry, I have some stuff on here from something I was working on earlier. Um, but she, she has a different one. Like the one she has does not have the dry side. It only has the wet side. So I guess it doesn't really matter, but this is the one I saw, so this is the one I got. Then in addition to that, this morning, I was out and about and went to Joann's, and this was just in the clearance section, and it's this little, like, um, like roller, roller-like stamp. Like, I have the date stamp that's like this. I think a lot, a lot of people probably have that kind of, this one's Heidi Swap, Heidi Swap, and you just turn it to change the date. And this one is the same idea, but it's got things like congrats, handmade, hello, hearts, with love, thanks, to, from, date, that kind of thing. And I, it was on sale, so I didn't pay. It was like $1.97 or a dollar something. And I just thought it was cute, so I grabbed it, but I wanted to give it a try. So what I'm going to do is kind of test out some new stamps that I've received recently and have not got to use. I also have some from... Oh, Lime Life, I believe. Um, but I have to track those down. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to basically, I've got my sketchbook here that I just am kind of playing in. And I'm just going to find a clear, a clean sheet to kind of do some stamping on and just kind of see what these look like. Um, and that's all we're going to do today. So if you're interested to see that, then stick around. This is a cute little ink pad. That's funny. So we've got our little ink pad. And we've got this. I'm trying to see if I can keep everything on the screen. So we're just going to start with the first one. I guess I should hold it this way with the flat side facing me. So I'm going to stamp. And then oh, let me make sure y'all can see where I'm stamping here. So I didn't get that perfect. Let me try again. I'm not the best stamper in the world. I'm still learning. So see, I always do that. I get the edges, which isn't cool. But anyway, so then when you're done stamping, you would scrub it in your, your stamp cleaner. See that? And it comes right off. And then you can dry it off over here. Good to go. There we go. A little bit. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm excited because I'm well, and I have also used stays on ink, which is not very good for your stamps. <laughs> it's going to stain on. Why is this side is slipping, but this side turns? So I don't know what that's about. But this was only like a dollar. So all right, let's see what this one is. Oh, 
Oh, so now that one was upside down. So that confuses me because like on the Heidi Swap one, you always hold this flat part facing you to make sure it's going to stamp properly. So like this one, that's why I did it that way and it stamped it upside down. So if I want to try this again, I'm going to have to do it this way. And now it does it correctly. But see, I hate that I'm getting my corners. Why am I getting corners? Which this might just be a not great stamp set, you know. That is so cool. I feel so much better now about my stamp usage. <laughs> because I can keep it clean. I'm gonna try to put like barely any ink. Oh, that's better. So if I'm just not out of control with the ink, it's not too bad, but I'm still getting some corners there. And so yes, your, your ink pad cleaner will get um, very dirty. And I, like the girl I was watching, Michelle's was like black. <laughs> And you just wash it off from time to time with water and the sink and clean it up if it really bothers you. But it still works even though it's stained with ink. It still does what it needs to do. I'm like getting a nice little spray of water every time I rub that. <laughs> it's like sprinkling me with water. It's funny. Alright, let's try this one. Hello. And yeah, this, this was up at the checkout counter, like before you check out in their um, like discount bins up at, in Joann's, in case, in case you want to see if yours has it. I thought I would do the Handmade with Love, because I thought that looked cute, because I'm trying to get into making cards again and stuff. And so I thought that would be pretty cool to be able to stamp handmade with love on all the cards. I'm trying to not get those corners, but I'm not I'm not able to either. I guess this this stamp is not like high enough or else I'm just pressing down too hard. One of the two. Oh, this one I could probably use too. This is pretty cool. So you put the date in, which that corner be in there really messes it up. Come on now. Anyway, it was just like a date. Um, can, you, can you guys see that? I guess you can maybe see this one. with this stamp. It um, is giving me a pretty hard time. I <clears throat> apologize if you hear me coughing and stuff. My husband is not feeling well and now I'm starting to think I might be getting whatever he's having because it's mostly just congestion so like we keep coughing and it's in our chest. Um, and honestly, I feel like I just got over stuff like that. I've been struggling for so long with allergies and stuff that oh, I so badly don't want to be sick again. All right, well, that's 
all of that stem. I'm trying to get this one dried out because it seems to hold water. All right, so that's all of our little $1.99 stamp from Joann's. It's really cute. I just hate these corners, you know, but oh well. A little stamp pad is cute. Now my, um, this stamp scrubber pad is pretty awesome, I have to say. I'm digging it. Now these are stained and I don't think they will clean off very well. They might come clean a little bit, but I feel certain I used stays on. So I'm just gonna scrub through and see kinda how they do. Oh, it's cleaning up a little, which is cool. <clears throat> I have never cleaned this stamp. Because um, when I first started stamping again, I didn't really... I don't know, I just grew up where you always had ink on your stamps. Like... I wonder if people start cleaning the stamps. And I'm sorry, I don't know if you can hear me while I'm doing all this mess, but you know, I just grew up, I should probably close that, <coughs> with ink stamps having ink on them. So I didn't really think anything of it. But I agree that it's messy and it, it's nice to keep it clean. And something like this helps. And I'm sure it helps too with the longevity of your stamps. Not letting ink get like built up on them, making sure they continue to function properly, probably. Alright, so all of those are pretty much good. I'll try to do that one again. Let's see about doing that one. And then we need to do some of these. Yeah, so this one's not bad. I'm not going to worry about it anymore, but that cleaned up pretty nicely. Better than it was anyway, so that's really cool. Okay, so now I'm going to try to find, I'm going to pause for a minute and come back because I need to find the new stamps that I want to try out. Okay, so I've changed my settings a little bit because I want to see if it helps with the white. Um, I... For some reason, a long time ago, I switched my settings to make the whites show up better, I guess. Um, and right now, I'm just switching back to like auto. So we'll see if like the amount of light that I have is makes this okay. I hope it does. Um, it looks a little bit better to me, although like this background looks really dark, but the white parts look better, like not so blown out. So anyway. We'll see how it looks, I guess. <laughs> so here I've got the rest. So I've got my um, acrylic block here. This is a Martha Stewart one I've had forever. This is just a stamp I saw that I haven't used yet. So it says, let's, let's do lunch. I thought I would play with it. These I got a long time ago from Michaels. And they came with, well, they, they were like packaged together with these ombre um, stamp pads. And they're still in the packaging. Like I haven't used them at all. So I wanted to give them a try because they look really cool. Um, and so yeah, we're gonna play with those. And then I also ordered these from Lime Life. Is that right? Um, Lime Life Planners. Um, so yeah. And I might, it says you can, like I guess anyone who, it's like a referral program that they offer. So if I go online and create an account, I guess I'll have a referral link. Which means if there's anything you'd like to order from Lime Life, um, once you purchase using my referral link, you'll save $10 on your first order. And I will also get $10 off my next order. So it's like rewards and I can save them up or use them right away or whatever. So that's kind of how it works. And I guess you would have the opportunity to do that as well if you join. So um, if you're interested, be sure to check down below because I'll try to include that. Um, so you can at least save $10 on your order. So we're going to try these. I was super excited to get these because with my creative planning class, um, one thing I definitely do not have are like alphabet stamps. So I was excited to get some of these. And then these are obviously general kind of like planning type 
stamps but what I really love are these down here that are just kind of like would be good for doing backgrounds and things so this is what I ordered and I'm just gonna play so let's just do this little one real quick let's do lunch um, and I'm just gonna use this little ink pad because for the most part it seems pretty cool so let's go ahead and see how this works mm -hmm. Hmm, not bad. Probably could have, you know, done that a little better, but that's really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. There's that one. And for the record, <laughs> so I have this sitting, obviously, right here next to me, and there's like a whole spray splatter over here that you guys can't see from me scrubbing on this thing. So you might want to, you know, hold this thing off to the side or something. I've got a trash can down here beside me. So I'm just gonna scrub it down here real quick. And there's how it looks now. And drop this off a little bit. Ta-da! That's awesome. I'm kind of, kind of excited about this. <laughs> All right, so let's do letters because letters are fun. And let's see, what do we wanna say? H-A-P-P-Y, happy, 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 happy. I might, um, I don't know, I kinda wanna just make them a little closer together. I'm gonna rearrange those a smidge. There we go. Yeah, I'm still sticking with the black ink. I wanna save my other ink for the other thing so let's see cool thing when it's clear like this is you can kind of see how well it's filling in your stamp from like just looking through just kind of cool I'm hitting up next to this thing so I'm gonna come down here Oh, that's so good. Oh, I love it. No, I mean, my, my funny font is funny. I just did that because I didn't have, like, two lowercase p's. So if I wanted to do it, you know, normally I'd have to do, like, H-A-P and then restamp with the P and the Y. And, you know. So I guess it could be useful to have maybe two sets of these. I didn't even think of doing that. Hmm. Maybe I should have considered that. But I really like those. I really do. Let's um let's get into these guys. And so this is just an ombre ink pad from Recollections. This is the same thing from Recollection, Stampin' Stencil. Oh, there's a stencil, huh? I don't even think I knew that, that's cool. And that's all it says, so nothing, you know, like, no special name for it. And I can't remember, y'all, it was so long, right? I'm pretty certain I purchased this back in like April. So I can't remember what the other options were, like there were other designs and stuff, so I guess I picked a tribal or something theme. And then of course there's a stamp, a stencil here. So that's pretty cool, I guess. I do like my stencils. This elephant is just calling to me. So we are going to do the elephant first. I don't, so I've never been, I mean, I love elephants. I love like, I watched The Bachelorette and I remember it was, um, Emily Maynard, her season, well, what's her name now? She's married now, but anyway, when she, her season, she was Emily Maynard, and um, she wrote, they wrote on an elephant at the end of her season, or somewhere in one of her seasons, and I just loved it. I thought that was so cool, and oh, that's neat. I hadn't even, so it's like, like three, 
they're cut three cut pieces of foam with the different colors on it but anyway we ended up doing elephants as like the theme for my um oldest son's room when he was a baby and so i think ever since then i'm kind of just you know interested in in elephants so before i stamp this i just wanted to point out so if you kind of like went all the way up to the top you would have more of the orange or if you came down farther you would get more of the pink which is kind of cool i'm just gonna go right in the middle see how it turns out can already tell it's gonna look so cool but I feel like I want to go down again which means I might end up mixing I don't know that is so cool okay let's just see how this works huh. how cool Actually pretty neat I like that I'm gonna there's most of the ink came off so I'm not gonna clean it but I do want to come down farther and kind of see what it looks like that that was really yellow up top but in this to me on this ink pad it looks very orange so that was interesting how how yellow it came out so this is gonna be more pink and orange hopefully Yeah, so like there's just barely a little bit of yellow at the top and most of the bottom is, is pink. Oh, I like these ink pads. Oh my goodness, I can tell. This could be fun. Let me, um, let me just do this guy in one of these. So this one is like green, blue, purple. I wonder if I should do it this way because it's not quite long enough. Uh-oh. Those things must be really wet. I really pushed that down and it feels like I might have went a little overboard. Do you see all that? Let's see. Let's do this one up here. Ha! Cool, huh? Can you see? So it's like purple and a little bit of blue and then green. Yay! Oh, that's fun. I'm going to do more of these. I just think I want to clean this off a little. So I guess you could, you know, I was trying to do it with this on it, but you could take this off and just hold it in your hand as you clean it, <coughs> I suppose. really digging in there because it's not coming out by digging in I mean pressing down into the the fibers on these little carpets so if I were reviewing this stamp scrubber pad thing I would give it like you know two thumbs up I really like it I think it doing what it's supposed to do and pretty easy to use and you know she, Michelle who introduced me to these didn't mind that hers didn't have this other side um, I guess she, you know she just let some air dry or maybe she had something nearby that she uses but I think it's really nice to have both sides Closes right up. It's pretty cool. Let's try this sun. So they've got this sun as like a green and yellow. So they might have another pad that's more green and yellow because I don't have that pad. <clears throat> so let's put this guy up here in the corner. That way I can stamp him right there. Okay. And so we're going to do this one. I'm going to go up higher. I can also do it like that. 
Mm. I'll do it like this. Oh. I didn't get that on the way. I don't know if I didn't press it or if I didn't get it inked. I probably can't line this up, but let's try anyway. Okay, well, <laughs> just a little bit off there, but so cool. I love these things. All right, I'm just gonna pull that off, set it to the side. I'll clean it in a minute. Let's see what some of the words look like. What does this say? Believe. Believe. Okay, so for this, I'm going to do it this way. It's kind of, I don't like it's, it's funny because it's bold on the edges but then kind of spotty in the middle. Um, I'm curious, I'm gonna clean this as well. I guess, no, I'm gonna clean it real quick because I'm curious if the black will behave the same way on that stamp. Okay, my battery is getting low, so I better hurry this up. Oops. Oh, I feel like I rocked that. Oh, that's a lot more smooth. So it must, there's still a little bit of a bold line around the edges though. So maybe that's just how the stamp is designed. I can't really tell. Um, but, but that must just be the way that ink is. So cool. All right, so I think we get the idea. Um, you're my sunshine, that's cool. And then there's the sun. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and look for like a green and yellow one because I really like that. Um, stay wild, that's cool. Oh, I could totally use these I think for some greeting cards. Oh my goodness, it is late you guys. Well, it's not really late, but it just feels like it's been a long day. And I do not know when the camera cut off, but I'm just over here going on and on and on. And yeah, and I was saying that I think these are really cool and I can definitely see myself making like greeting cards with them. Um, and that's why I like the other little stamp thing because it said, you know, handmade with love I could use that on the back of the card that sort of thing so anyway <clears throat> if you've never seen these before you might go check them out I haven't looked recently so I do not know if they still have them um, if I can find them and I can link you to them on their website I certainly will but these were from Michaels these were from Michaels these were from Lime Life Planners along with the alphabet ones be sure to check links down below. And then of course the scrubber pad, which I ordered, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got this from Amazon. And this one is the Hero Arts one. So I will link to it as well. If you're interested, I definitely recommend it. I think it's awesome. And then, you know, you just take this out and clean it off as from time to time if you want to, just with water is my understanding. Um, and I think you can also use like a stamp cleaner. Like I've never used that before, but do they sell like a spray bottle or something? It said you could use stamp cleaner, but I just use water. I mean, if, it, if water works, that works for me. Now, this side does not come out, so, you know, I've kind of got it a little dirty, and I don't know if it'll come clean now that I've done that, but so be it. But this side, I should be able to wipe, clean off a little bit because it comes all the way out. So, anyway, thanks for playing with me today, guys. I just, it's been a while, and I haven't had time to come up here and play myself. And I just thought, hey, I'll turn the camera on and maybe if it's something interesting, people might want to see it. So <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if, you, if you've used any of these products or if you have products you think I should check out or you'd like me to try to check out for you. I'd be more than willing to look into it. 
Um, but again, I thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye. Um, so I just wanted to come back real quick because when I pulled this stencil out, which came with these stamps, the um, ombre ones from Michaels, it had this backing. It's very vinyl. It's like flimsy vinyl. It's not like hard plastic like most stencils are. And it had this backing on it, this clear backing, which I peeled off. So it's kind of sticky back here, which is awesome if it means you can stick it down and it's gonna stay in place, you know? And I guess you can peel it back up, I hope. So I thought I would just turn the camera back on real quick. <gasps> Look at that. And do a quick demo because that's awesome. I have not seen a stencil like this. And this is amazing because every time I mess with stencils, I really screw it up because I can't hang on to them. So let me grab, um, well, I just grabbed two of my Tombows and I was just gonna kind of like rub around on here and see if it works. I mean, I guess, what would you do, draw in it? But this is awesome because you don't have to get extra tape out and like tape it down. You don't have to like, you know, hold it and then have it slide around on you. This is pretty awesome. I'm just gonna try this other side. And then I was thinking I might could take one of these ink pads. This is just a makeup sponge, which I've already used some of these this side. And I'm just gonna like dab it in there and then it's hard to do this because I want to keep it inside the, the stencil. I'm just, <laughs> it seems like such an obvious thing to have it be sticky back and I haven't seen it before. And I mean, I don't shop around for artsy stuff all the time, but I'm becoming more and more aware of stuff. And that is one thing I have not been made aware of. All right, I'm trying to hurry before my battery dies. So this isn't perfect but it should give us an idea. All right, oh, I got off there a little bit. Let's see what it looks like. Ha, ah, ah, ha, that is so awesome. I love that. I had no idea that's what kind of stencil this was. I'm going to be on the lookout now because most stencils are your typical, like, this plasticky, just slick on both sides material. And this, this is amazing. This is amazing. It's like vinyl, you know, rubbery feeling. It's sticky back. Okay, anyway, and there's what it looks like. I'm sorry if that was off the frame. Oh, I'm just not with it at all today. <laughs> so anyway. That is pretty cool. These are Tombows, and this lighter color is the stamp pad that I was daubing with. So, all right, guys, that's it. <laughs> For real now. <laughs> Bye.